Hey, everybody. Happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday Night Live. Dynamite unit, Lagerstrom unit. We've got on here Belinda Belinda Cook. We've also got on here Melanie Nelson and brand new sales you? from North Carolina, Brenda Billington. And it's just, it's so exciting to have you guys all here. Um, I just cannot believe it's already June. Like, I don't know what happened in March, April, and May, but <laughs> they're gone. So um, there's a lot of stuff going on. We've got two amazing trainings tonight. We are on a four week series of how to generate leads and get customers. And so the one thing I will tell you is not only do you want to attract customers, but just as important as attracting a customer is maintaining the customer. If you're getting them and they're going out the back door, like you're facialing 10 people, they're not on PCP and you're not talking to them and then they leave, you are constantly going to be trying to replace those 10 customers. But if you could get those 10 customers and keep them and have them so in love with you and your customer service, they wouldn't want to go to another Mary Kay girl, nor Sephora, Ulta, Target, Walmart, wherever else you can get skincare and makeup. So mm -hmm. with that said, I would love each director maybe just to come on and just tell us one sentence about their either their goal for June or what they're most excited about. Lori, would you like to go first? Sure. I am very excited about the June uh, challenge. We have our wonderful, um, we have our squares that Mary Kay has given us. And um, our unit is focused on finishing a minimum of three. And we know which ones those are. And we know how much we have to do. And so I, I'm excited about that. And what else did you want to know? No, that's good. Whatever you're most excited about is is great. Yeah, I we're. Um, I think perhaps our biggest challenge is going to be um, just enlisting everyone and letting them know. Although we have been talking about, I mean, it's been addressed um, how we need to get everybody active this month because that okay. will help us. Okay. Yeah. And I'll tell you guys right now with the company doing the sixty percent off. Oh yeah. We couldn't have asked for a better thing. In fact, I was brainstorming with B Mills Lego last night. And when we got out of calculator, she and I, and we were going through the math, it was just like our mouths are both dropping open. She's going, is this right? Or am I just tired? I go, no, let me do my calculator. And so I got my calculator and I said, oh my God, that is right. And so it was, it was insane. I'll share those, those figures with you. Cause if you guys are talking to people about the core opportunity, absolutely talk to them about the, the 60% offer, because I can't imagine any customer not absolutely enthralled with that. So, all right. So uh, Brenda Billington, would you like to go next? What is the one thing you're most excited about or any one thing you want to share real quick? Oh, she's pink. She needs to unmute. I did not mean to hit that button, but hi. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> I'm so tired. Um, my goal is partly met. I finished quarter personal sales. Ooh, um, Yes. First time in ring. Yes. yes, that's right. First time. I um I do want to um yeah, two at least get um a minimum of two qualified in this month. Um, because I've got that new director goal stuff going on and also um continue to meet car production. So on target for the brand new car. And Brenda, when she saw the new car going from a Chevy Malibu to a crossover, what'd you say? <laughs> I went crazy excited. I'm very, very, very happy. Um, so I am one of the first people I'm, in our national area to win it. So right. it's going to be super exciting. <laughs> yeah, it's a crossover. So that that excites me. I can't wait to go. I can't wait to videotape Robert's face when you go to the dealership and pick it up. He's <laughs> just right. going to be going, what? So and congratulations. Your paycheck was, did you see your paycheck? I did. And it's over sixteen hundred dollars, correct? Oh uh, yeah. So yeah. that's that's money that you wouldn't have made last month if you had chosen to stay as a consultant. Exactly. So not counting your personal sales and all of that stuff too. Exactly. So and everything. So congratulations, Brenda. I'm so excited Thank for you. you. Thank all you. Thank you. All right, real quick, uh, Melanie Nelson, are you able to unmute? I don't even know if she's got uh, the ability to do that because she might be taking care of. Her, uh, she's not even on, she doesn't have audio. Okay, so keep Melanie in your purse. She's taking care of her mother-in-law who is on hospice and um, every day is a new day. And so Melanie, we are all cheering for you and praying for you, babe. All right, Miss Belinda Cook, do you wanna tell everybody what you're most excited about? 
Hi, you guys. I'm super excited about finishing the Queen's Court of Sharing and, of course, the Queen's Court of Sales. I'm like right there as far as the sales. And I got a little bit to go as far as the sharing, but we'll make it happen because I'm not missing it. That a girl. You know, it's really funny how we have such a different mindset when it comes to June. And it's so funny. You know, I was watching a, a, some videos of Olympics last night and um, just Olympic wins, of course. Like, why would you want to watch anything that's not a win? And it was just, you could just see the fire in these eyes of these athletes. It didn't matter what their event was, it whether it was swimming or track, it's that laser focus, looking at the wall if they're swimming or whatever it was. And just having that mindset of, this is, this is going to happen. Like I'm going to get that gold medal. And it's just, it's, it's having that gold medal mindset, you guys, that's going to help you when your four prospects that are your hottest prospects, none of them return your phone call or the gal you just signed up says, Oh, I've decided that I think I want to, you know, bake bread instead or, you know, whatever. Um, cause you heard the craziest things, but it's your vision, your passion, your determination that's going to take you to the top. And you don't think other people are watching, but I will tell you compete with yourself. Don't compare yourself to others. Look straight ahead and just keep your blinders on and know that, you know, God's going to bless you and your business. Absolutely. So with that said, I would love to um, share with you really quick our goal. So we are crossing the finish line at 650,000 circle of excellence. And what I'm most excited, aside from going to Barcelona, is the company actually asks for your input. So there's a whole day where we have a meeting and they say things like, okay, what products are we missing? What products do you want us to bring back? And they actually take a lot of weight into what we say. And they'll ask questions like, what programs are you using? What programs are you not using? Like, what are what did we miss the boat on? Like, what are we not? And they, I mean, we've I've seen products scrapped right before it's launched. I've seen them change the name of things. I've seen them revamp things just from the input. So that's what I'm most excited about is giving you guys a way to share with me what you want differently, what you would like to see. So I can share that with the company. Um, and I have this much left for sales court, which is not a huge stretch, but uh, the quarter share, I still have eight seminar qualifieds, but I have four in that I just have to get seminar qualified and then go get four new ones. So not sure who those four are going to be yet, but I've got some great parties um, this week. And so I know that God will bless Bless the efforts. That's what I always say. Just keep your head down and do the work. Um, so I'm excited. We are tracking our unit size thing got a little messed up because we had so many people order in December that our unit size dropped because of the I3s and Ts. But I know, I absolutely know that we can come back. I think we need to get 52 after this month and I know that we can do that. So it's just about having, having a winner's mindset. Okay, so with that said, I would like to first start by congratulating Carrie McCurdy for already also crossing the finish line, as well as Brenda Billington um, for also completing the court of sales. So I believe it's Brenda's first ring. It's Carrie McCurdy's third ring. It's either her third or fourth, third ring. I'm pretty sure. Right, Carrie, is it your third ring? And I probably ask her this every week. She's like, Diane, really? Yes, it's third ring. And the difference is this year when she's dressed up looking like a million dollars, her husband, Quinn's going to be there to go to the royalty reception and to see everything. And he's never been to seminar. So Carrie, you know that he's going to see you on stage and he's going to expect that every year. And I know Carrie's goal is to also attend Janice's house, which all the directors, Melanie's invited, Belinda's invited, Brenda's invited because we're directors. But to go not as a director, you have to be a DIQ. And Carrie's already got five active on her team. Um, I believe that uh, Rhonda will make number six and then all you've got to do is go get seven and eight and you will be at seminar as a DIQ and going to Janice's house, sitting by the pool, having our meeting, um, dinner she does. It's going to be fabulous. So I'm super excited. Do you want to share how it feels to earn, have earned that third ring already and just what you're thinking? Sure. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. Um... I think I'm number three in Genesis right now. So I'm going for the queen. So we'll see. I'm excited. And with the 60% off carry, if you strategize it right, you could you could do it. I could totally see you on that throne. And give Quentin a microphone. I don't know. This could turn into a love fest because those two lovebirds, even though they've been married 40 years, they're just like all over each other. <laughs> so 42 years next week. That is unbelievable. So Carrie, Very. I talk a little bit about strategy because, you know, the company's kind of downplaying it. I meant to get the prop. So Laura, if you happen to have one handy, but do you guys know that if you buy a box of the sheet face masks, 
they give you a box for free and you get the full retail credit. Did y'all know that? They're kind of like not making it a big deal. But so what I will tell you is I've given those with just a bow around a single one. I've given those to customers just tucked into their, their, their reorder with instructions on how to use it. And I had Wendy, one of my customers who's a realtor, buy three boxes I for a family it. reunion because she goes, well, we're going to Tahoe for a week. Every woman's going to want to do it twice. I've got nine women coming. I need three boxes. So, but I've had almost everybody that I've given one to, I'd say probably more than more than half, probably maybe 65, 70% ended up buying one. So gang, if you get a box, so before we got one, buy one, get one, they cost you two fifty. dollars Buy buy one, get one, each mask costs you $1.25. What gift with purchase could you offer a customer that's $1.25? That counts towards you being a star. A sponge. Yeah, you can't, you can't even get a, a mini eye makeup remover. That doesn't count towards you being a star. So this box thing, and there's no limit. So I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to have fun with this. In fact, I'm going to do a neighborhood party and tell them it's a sheet face mask spa party. And they all come and I'll just put on some fun violin music and they can all just sit back in the chair with their heads back. It's going to be a blast. And then give them all one to take home. So you guys, that is the perfect thing for you to be very um, generous in giving is giving those individual sheet face masks out. And it's kind of a hoot. They're just curious. And how does, you know, they go, what do I do? Pop the package. Like what? <laughs> and so the packaging even makes it more fun. So Carrie, I couldn't be more excited. Congratulations on your third diamond ring, your second time for the royalty reception. Cause the first year it was during COVID. Um, and I can't wait to see you walk across stage at seminar with your, with your, uh, on awards night to get your diamond ring and Brenda and me and Lori, it's, it's, it's going to be quite an evening. And Brenda, I cannot wait to walk out hand in hand with you to debut you on stage at seminar. It's going to be just a phenomenal, phenomenal night. So without further ado, um, we've been working on a four-week series. Actually, before I get started, let me just super quickly share with you um, the events that are going on for the week, just super yes. quickly recap. Because I think what happens, you guys, if you don't, because I literally had this conversation with a consultant today, she, for some reason, thought if she didn't have a guest, she couldn't, that the, the virtual events just were for guests. She goes, you mean I could just jump on and learn? I said, yes, yeah, sweetheart, that's why we have them. <laughs> so somehow she missed, just missed that part. So here is our, our Facebook page right now. And then, of course, there's Carrie. There's Carrie and I walking to the royalty reception, but there's Carrie Tuesday Night Live. Now, tomorrow night is skincare. It is in Spanish and in English. The English invitation looks like this. Janice will be going over 3D and repair and microderm and charcoal mask. Whether your guests have samples or not, I would get them on it. And you guys, honestly, because of the skincare being 60%, I would probably go down your PCP list and say, if I offered you a mascara, would you jump on tonight? So yeah, you give them a, or a mascara at half off. If you give them a gift to get on, but they're not on skincare, let's say Carrie's got 10 customers on PCP that are not on skincare. Well, the statistical odds are if you got 10 people on tomorrow night, Carrie, to watch and they're not on skincare, I bet you at least a third, if not half, would end up buying skincare from you. And when you're making 60% on it, that's just gravy. So it starts at six o'clock California time. Um, again, skincare, both repair and 3D, microderm and charcoal mask. And then, of course, it's also in Spanish. So if you want to send this out to your guests, if they feel more comfortable with Espanol, they just need to click on the little link on the bottom that looks like a globe and it'll throw them to Araceli who speaks as fast as Janice does, which is really exciting. Then on Thursday, we have Cecilia James. She is from Georgia. She's got a strong Christian background, great mom. Her daughter is a new director um, who I believe is on target for a Cadillac. Um, but there's going to be four free e-starts given away tomorrow night. And Cecilia is just from the heart. Like she just shares from the heart, like nobody's business. So this is Thursday night. Does anyone have questions on either of those? I thought I heard Janice say she's giving away five, but. Okay. She might be giving away five. That. Okay. And then immediately following this, I'm doing another back of the back of the hand party at Monica's in Concord. And I know a few of you have asked to watch it on my Zoom. So I'm going to do my best to take a tablet or something with me. So if you want to watch the class, Valida's sales turned out to be after the next day, a lady ordered over $1,300 um, from her back of the hand party that we did. So that's really exciting. So that is what's going on this week. And then next Wednesday, the event is Jen Bessaker doing her thing which I will just scroll down here really quick. Oh, here's the buy one, get one with the sheet face mask. So you guys, I would honestly, I would go on Facebook live. In fact, I might do that tonight and put one of these on. 
because people are like, what, what is she doing? <laughs> Which will be really fun. Um, anyway, so Jen Besseker's events are just right here. If you guys scroll down a little bit, all the events for June are right here. So Jen Besseker is next Wednesday and she's going to, oops, that's Spanish. She'll be giving away some Kate Spade and she'll be sharing her top five products for June. So again, when you guys, when guests jump on and they see that it isn't like 30 people, that they see that it's 130 people, they're impressed. They don't know that there's 100 people that are Mary Kay and 30 that are guests. They're just blown away. But especially if you're new or Carrie, if you, if any of you guys have got team members that are maybe a little rusty on the product, have them watch these. They learn. I can't tell you, this is the place for them to be so they can learn. But it comes in both English and Spanish. Okay, of course, National Pink Day is coming up June 22nd. So I would I would lead up to something crazy on that day. That's just my personal opinion. Um, but let me go back up and share with you guys, because a few of you are using this to finish your star. Monica Gobu, who is the director who has been the queen of sales. Gubo, she, but okay. Uh, pardon me? Gubo. Oh, Gubo. Okay. She, um, she does these sheets. So if you guys just save this link, Save this in your phone. So open it up and save this link. That link changes every month. You don't need to change the link. It actually, on the three days before the end of the month, it'll change, okay? And then instead of just taking a PDF or a picture of the flyer, you wanna text out this link because when they open it, it shows a 15 to 20 second video on every product featured. Okay. So with that said, if you text this out right now, this is what your customers are going to see. They're going to see the June sheet and they're going to see all the stuff that's on here, blah, blah. You, I don't want to take the time to go through all this, but it'll show them everything, right? But some it's of beautiful. you are interested. She does a beautiful job. Oh, she's got a graphic design layout, which I, ah. she, I didn't know she had a graphic design background. But if you go on this one, I'm going to show you where the double deal days are because I know I talked to Monique Wynn. She's finishing her star. She hasn't been a star consultant this year, but she is this quarter and She's doing a double deal day. She's doing two of them. She's doing double deal day on Friday and next Tuesday. What, did, what does double day deal mean? That means that on those days that Monique does that, instead of people getting one item for every 50, they're going to get picked two items. So let's say Carrie was my customer. Carrie spent $100. Instead of Carrie picking two things, Carrie would get to pick four things. Now, look what's on here, you guys, the moisturizing stick, the line reducer. And if you wanted to, you could include every booster if you wanted to. That's up to you. All mm -hmm. the ghost sets, biocellulose mask. You could even add the sheet mask if you wanted to. All the new liquid lip things. But notice down here where it says special June email. That's what you really, in my opinion, want to use, not the PDF. When I do the PDF, if they don't know the product, they go, they look at it and go, no, I don't need anything. But once they watch all the videos, they want everything. But if you scroll down a little bit, Keep going. Right here, it explains how double deals and the message. Hey, it's double deal days. tomorrow, Today and tomorrow, you can get two deals for every $50 you purchase. And so you could take this, double deal days, you could insert on a on a on any tablet or on Word or whatever, the date that you're doing it. And it says on here, double deal, so they know that they're going to get to pick two things for every 50. I wouldn't do this a lot, but if you wanted to, you could do it two days before Pick two days before Star Consultant cutoff if you're trying to generate some outrageous sales. Does anybody have any questions on this? Y'all are good with double deal days and all that? Okay, perfect. Yay, yay, yay. All right. So I decided to call Tammy Mann. Tammy Mann's a consultant in our unit in North Carolina. She's actually in Brenda Billington's unit and one of Brenda's dear friends. She, every month that we do the contest on how selling 25 items, right? She always texts me a sheet that has at least 45 up to 100 items. Now, she doesn't have a very big customer base. So I said, what do you do? Do you, How many of your customers call you? And she laughed and said, my customers don't call me. And I said, none of them? She goes, I could count on one hand in all the years I've been in Mary Kay, how many customers have called me? I said, really? So what do you do? So she shared with me her system. And I shot a video. So I'm going to share this with you guys uh, really quick. Grab a pen and paper. And check this out. Hey, everybody. Um, this is Diane Covington, your director. And I have with me from North Carolina, Tammy Mann, who is incredibly consistent every single month selling between, oh my goodness, 40 to 90 or 100 items. Incredibly consistent. And I asked her to share a little bit about some of her tips to success on how she is so consistent with her customer service. So Tammy, tell us all your tricks and tips. Uh, my Probably the biggest thing is I 
take advantage of the reminders on the customer's information page. I set up reminders for birthdays. Um, when they've ordered, I place, um, give myself a reminder to contact them at least two months after they've ordered. Um, sometimes if it can be three, you just have to learn your customer and know, you know, how often they usually order um, and what they prefer. And I also sometimes ask them, would you like for me to call you more? I don't want to be a bother. If I'm calling too much, let me know that as well. And I've not ever had anyone say I'm contacting them too often. Mm -hmm. um, usually the two to three month time period is good. Um, and then I'll set up reminders if I've given them samples to follow up with that, or if they've tried a new product, um, then I, two weeks after I've made that delivery, then I have a reminder pop up to follow up with them to make sure they like the product and to see if they have any questions about it since then. Um, I know we don't have to do that, but the 100% guarantee means a lot to me personally because I feel like I can sell, you know, without guilt. I mean, and they don't waste their money unless they choose to, unless they don't tell me. Right. And so I try to make that extra clear by actually following up and telling them, I mean, asking to make sure they're happy with what they've purchased. So it sounds like you're calling them, you're instigating it more. So you're not waiting for them to call you. You're actually. Correct. I rarely, rarely have anyone call me. <laughs> I do all the calling. Okay. And, and one thing, another thing I do is with those reminders um, in the action items, your reminders will come up so you can see the, the, the upcoming week. That's how to put it. And I'm a pen and paper girl, really. So I usually transfer those reminders onto um, a notebook that I carry around with me. Almost everywhere I go, it has my to-do list, my errand list. Um, it has one section that's for Mary Kay. And I transfer that list so that if I have a couple of minutes while I'm waiting on something, I can just pick it up and make that call or send the text right that instant instead of having to find information. And so another thing I do, because I'm a one track mind person, I, I'm, like if I call you, I'm probably gonna say, hello, how are you? And get right to the point. And, um, and mm -hmm. so I, sometimes that's a weakness because I forget to ask about the person, even though I really do care, then I hang up and go, oh no, so a lot of times I'll even make notes on the customer page mm -hmm. um, about the customer, um, especially if, I'm get, if it's someone new that I'm getting to know, like their children's name or if they're going on vacation soon or something that they might tell me so that when I call them, there's a little more personal touch to it. Okay. So if you, if I, so you call, you would call me. So if you call me and said, hey, so what is your typical words? Like, Hey, how are you doing or do you do you do you ask do you need anything or what are the do you know what the words are you ask um i just say i'm calling to check in and i do i will say are, are you in need of anything right now you okay. know are there any products that you're running low on um are you having any problems and i usually try to go through which i have a fairly small customer base i guess but to go through my customer base once a year and ask definitely in two years, ask if they have any skincare needs that I might be able to help them with. Um, if anything has changed, um, because our skincare needs do change. And like I wear two completely different foundation colors in the summer and in the winter. Right. So things like that. Well, plus we have new products come out. So if you met with me two years ago, we didn't have all the boosters. And now if I tell you my skin is dry, you might suggest one of the hyaluronic acid boosters. So, right. okay. So you call me, you ask me how I'm doing. And then you say, is there anything you, you'd love to have? Or is there anything you need? Um, and I order 
pieces of the repair and CC cream and whatever. And at that point, when we're done with the sale, you go into the My Customer app, if I understand it correctly, and you go to the reminders and you put on there, call Diane Covington two months from today. Is that what you do? Right. Okay. Right. Because there's actually a date at the bottom when you click on the reminder, you can title that reminder. You can, in the next section, you can write notes. In the final section, you can put the date that that reminder's due. So it'll pop up a week before so that you can um, see what that is. And then you have to click on it to find, to read the notes, but that's kind of why I have the paper so I can get all that. Like if I'm watching TV in the evening with my husband, then I sit there and make my notes and get everything <laughs> ready so that when I'm out, that's readily available or if I sit down in the evening I already have things together so I can just spend my time making the call instead of spending time looking up the information to make it as quick and convenient as possible for me with whatever time I have because I'm rarely by myself so <laughs> so if your I have a minute your here, son your granny I get it <clears throat> so you know, sometimes I literally have time to make one call or one text and that's what I do. Okay. And then to clarify, you mentioned something to me earlier. So when you enroll customers in PCP, the week that they should be getting the book, even if I bought product from you two weeks ago, but I just got the catalog, do you still call them? Yes, I do. And I, and I acknowledge that they've already made a purchase so they don't feel like I'm trying to be pushy. I'll just say, I know you made you placed an order two weeks ago or even a month ago. Um, and I appreciate that, but because the PCP has arrived, um, do you have any questions? Um, make sure that they know the samples in there as well. Okay, so even if I bought from you two weeks ago, you call me and say, hey, I'm just checking. Did you get your catalog? Do you have any questions on anything in the catalog? And did you try the free sample? Even though, and you can say, I know you just got from me two weeks ago, but I wanna make sure you got your book. Yes, that's what I do. And occasionally people don't get their book. And so when I'm making the calls, I try to have in my text messages a link that I can send to them immediately oh, that takes them to my website and to a book. Okay. Okay, now do you run any specials? So if I'm reordering three or four things, do you say anything to me? Like if you spend this much money, you would get a like Monica's half price special deals. I mean, do you use anything like that or no? Um, I do the the sheet that comes out, 50% off one okay. item for every 50 items purchase. I mean, $50 purchase. I do that. And then I do a 15% birthday discount. Okay. And usually during their birthday month. And then that's usually it on a regular basis. Okay. Um, last month, I was running further behind than I wanted to, so I did a thank you for being my customer sale and did a buy one item, get the second one 50% off. And okay. they seem to really appreciate that. And that big of a sale actually pulled in customers that haven't ordered for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, I was tempted not to reach out to them, but then I thought, well, and it did get some people that I haven't heard from in a good while to order. Okay. To so kind of get them back on. You okay, know, so you offer them fifteen percent off the month of their birthday, and then for every fifty dollars right. that they purchase, they can get an item off that special deal sheet at half off. Right. Okay. So is it with all your wisdom? How many years have you been building your business in Mary Kay? I believe eleven, maybe okay. twelve. 11 so, for sure. <laughs> so is there any tidbit of advice? If you've got somebody new who maybe, maybe they've been in six months to a year and maybe they haven't been tracking their customers at all, what would be your advice to somebody who maybe doesn't have a system for their customers yet? Well, I mean, obviously, I think the one thing we hear a lot is we have to find something that fits us. Um, mine might be a lot of work to someone else, but it works. And I would just say to definitely figure out a way just to reach out and touch your customers every three months. I mean, when the PCP goes out, then I feel like I have a whole lot of calls all at once. Um, but I take notes according to the conversations. And sometimes I haven't talked to them at all. 
and it might prompt calls that I need to make later on. So right after the PCP, there's a lot of calls that need to be made. Okay. I, I really, I would just say, just start with your customer list and just start going down and say, I want to try to improve this area of my business because I've done that with customers before. Um, just say I've dropped the ball and I want to do better. And so that's why I'm calling today and maybe ask how often they would like for you to call. And what is the response when you say I've dropped the ball, that kind of like, what is, what does your customers usually say to you? Um, they, they don't say anything negative. I mean, they're busy just like, you know, living life. Um, and, but they do appreciate, they do appreciate the personal service. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, Tammy, I just appreciate you because every month you turn in those sheets to me and it's never 25 items. It's usually 50, 60, 70, 80 items all written on binder paper. And I just think that doesn't come, that doesn't just fall in your lap. Like you said, I thought it was actually really cute when you said, oh, almost none of my customers call me. And I have probably about 10 that call me or text me on a regular basis. I need stuff when you come into Concord or I need stuff. But I would say that's probably a dozen out of 110 and the or 120 and the rest, I have to reach out and call. So, but I appreciate the reminder about the reminders because I think I've gotten away from that. And I think for me, if it just populates, these are the 20 people you need to call. It's like, okay, then I can call those 20 people or those 10 people and then keep working on my PCP list. If they're, if they haven't bought right. for me in a while, they may not be in that, in that loop. So right. thank you so much. You are just a wealth of information. I wish you were my beauty consultant because you give really good customer <laughs> service. And I will tell you, Tammy, that makes you very referable because mm -hmm. when people see, like if I pull out a compact and someone says, oh, you do Mary Kay, you, where do you get your Mary Kay? And they go, oh, Tammy's my, my consultant and you want her. She gives you phenomenal service. That's the kind of reputation you want. Not somebody saying, oh, you don't want to buy from my gal. She's flaky. She never delivers stuff. You have to wait forever. The fact that you give that golden rule, five-star customer service, makes you not only referable, but your customers won't want anybody but you taking care of them. I and you probably it. hear that a lot. And I, I would encourage to throw samples in because it's a good reason to call back and you kind of get a feel for what they do and don't like too. Because I have one customer that just absolutely loves samples and that's really grown her product base and what she uses. And I don't know, I could just throw this in as an idea here at the end, but I used to, when I was a consultant, I got away from this and I don't know why, because it worked, but I did a sample of the month. So I just put it out and I said to my customers, if you would like to be enrolled for free to a sample of the month club, all you need to do is commit to me that you will try the sample I put in the mail and that within 48 hours of trying the sample, you will text me or email me your feedback on the product and it's free, who would like to enroll? So one month I must have sent out like 32 people samples of microderm. And then the next month it was foundation primer. And then the next month it was something else. And sometimes it would be like the new hydrating lipstick, just pick a neutral shade. And it was amazing how many people ended up wanting to buy that product, but the, who doesn't want a sample of the month? Like right. most That's all the idea. samples fit in a flat envelope. So I'd get the cards from the dollar store where you get 10 cards for a dollar or 12 cards for a dollar. Right. Um, and then I would just put the little sample in there and have my assistant just say, um, Here's your June sample. Can't wait to get your feedback. All right, you guys. So the last thing that Tammy texted me really quick that I'll just share with you because she sent me a text. Um, oops, sorry. I didn't mean to turn my camera off. It just helps it stream better. She put on here. She goes, I meant to mention to you. Um, um, hold on. She says, um, oh my goodness, where does, where'd the text go? All right. So she says, um, I also forgot. I want to add one more thing. Any customer who buys a mascara for me, I contact them every three months to ask them if they would like to replace it and tell them that it's recommended to be replaced every two to three months due to germs. Most do want to replace it. Some replace it as often as every two months. Um, but again, it's when she calls them. So as soon as they buy a mascara, she makes that memo, that comment in there. So that's just a great idea. I'm hoping you guys got some great takeaways from that. Now, in our four-week series, we talked about generating leads. And so last week, Lori did a phenomenal job sharing about warm chatter. Like when you go out, your mindset, who are you looking for, how to get a name and number, all of that stuff. And right now, Belinda is going to share about facial boxes. And there's a couple different ways to do it from everything from customer appreciation to putting boxes on a counter. And so, Belinda, why don't you go ahead and take it away and let me know what screen shares you want me to pull up? Yeah. 
so thanks first of all diane for inviting me um to teach your gals that is an honor in itself um but you guys there's like so many different ways to build a box or a fishbowl or what have you so diane go ahead and and show the screen shares of the um different uh boxes or whatever that i sent you okay well i'm not and sure then which one. I'm sure um one first but i don't know if that's the one you, that's probably not the one you wanted yeah no it's totally fine um so here is an example you guys of a, a little box that you could get at the dollar store or a bag that you could get at the dollar store and you just double-sided tape or hot glue or whatever and make you make your own really cute um little drawing bag now one of the cool things is that because so many of us are on pinterest you could go on Pinterest and find everything that you wanted and then some without even creating your own thing, except for maybe having to update the picture of the Mary Kay products. Because one of the things that I noticed today, because it's been so long since I made a drawing box, to be quite honest with you, um, and why, because that was so fun, um, you can, like, not have to do hardly any of the any of the work so i made two of them today just to help diane out tonight and it took me all of like five or six minutes to throw these together i mean so you know whatever you want to do is totally fine there's there's no rhyme or reason it just has to sing to you and your heart and your way so go ahead and show um the rest of the boxes just so that they get an idea of the different things that I created. So that's a uh, enter to win. You can print it out and I can, you know, Diane's got the email so she can upload that and into a enter for an ultimate pampering session, dropping your, your name or your business card. I love that. So one of the things that has been really successful for me guys is going to private places like salons um my band and coffee my band and coffee loves it when i do a fishbowl and does everybody know what a fishbowl is no tell us anyway so a fishbowl is when um you grab like literally one of those either a vase or a betta fishbowl literally and here i'll kind of give you an example um oh of course got to turn off the background <clears throat> sorry guys there we go so um literally you know it's just a fishbowl okay and you put your whatever on the outside and on the corner there you'll notice that it just says drop in your business card okay um one of the other things that i like to do with this specifically specific one is Put somewhere here on the bottom or on the top that says you must put your business phone number or personal phone number or personal contact, however you want to word it, on the back of your business card. Because some ladies, like myself, only put have their work number or they only have maybe their email or their website everybody does their business cards different and so you always want to make sure that you're getting a hold of them personally not necessarily at business um, because that may not be the most convenient time but i have had the most success success with those because it's quick they throw it out of their wallet they put it in there and they enter to win and hope that they win and they're excited about it okay and then within you know two or three days i call them back and of course everybody's a winner right here are some simple drawing slips if you don't have these guys made up okay and if you need these you guys i had over a hundred of these suckers made I'm going to put my phone number in the chat section here real quick. And I want you to just say, hey, Belinda, I need um, some of these. And, you know, so Venmo, Venmo me a dollar or two and then go to your Kinko's or whoever and have them made. OK. <clears throat> and there's no copyright or anything on those. So you're totally fine. But you can take them off my hands. Um, the, the person that I bought them from a long time ago actually, uh, made me buy them in bulk. So, um, 
I am still to this day trying to get rid of them and I have half a closet full. So please grab them off my shelf. I would love for you to take advantage of that. <laughs> All so right. Belinda, can but I share a quick piece. idea? Yeah, go right ahead. So when I, when I have slips like this, because my slips are very similar, I cut them up and then right up here where the roses are, I punch a hole. Just with a little hole punch, I punch a hole in the corner of each one. Then what I do is I attach my pen. See how you guys, Belinda, in fact, let me quit screen sharing, Belinda, so we can show your picture. So see how she's got a ribbon attached to the box and then a ribbon attached to the pen. And then you string the entry slips onto the ribbon so that nobody, can, so the slips are not sitting on the counter of the store. So all they do is tear off a slip and enter it in the box. And so I've had great luck doing that just by punching a hole in the corner. So, so all right, I go ahead. had to make today, Diane, just so that I could visually see that. And that is cool because that means that nobody will take your pen either because exactly. it's attached to so many different things. Yeah. So that's super exciting for me. I can't wait to share that with my unit. Okay. So tell me about but, the customer appreciation events that you do. Like if you were at a local, and I know Starbucks and Pete's coffee, the big chain restaurants typically are not receptive to this, but you do a lot of stuff with the small people. So tell us what you do. So like band and fitness, it's a 24 hour fitness center here locally. It's privately owned. Um, I literally walked in and asked him and said, Hey, you know, is there a busy time that I could come in and just bring my little card table and some samples and some crazy stuff, maybe buy a fitness certificate um, or you and I kind of sponsor together and give your um, employees and customers an appreciation day. No and wonder they love he you. He was like, ah. <laughs> and he, he was like, that's a good idea, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and um and so and he laughs and he chuckles and he's like I'm not good at that stuff and I said well you don't have to be good at that stuff I have to be good at that stuff so let me do it for you and he's like he's what's the catch what is it going to cost me and I said a membership gift certificate and then I'm going to add to that plus I'm going to give away samples and stuff and do drawings and it's going to be super fun you guys, I literally take my Bluetooth speaker, okay, and you're going to be like, Belinda, that's way out of my comfort zone. I'm not going to do that. But I take my Bluetooth speaker, and it's got a microphone attached to it, yes, and I act obnoxious for whatever hours he will let me be there. And I hand out samples. I have micellar water. I have charcoal mask. I have all of that stuff, everything done up. They enter to win. I give hourly, you know, or half an hour drawings, whatever he wants to do. And then we give um, two different gym membership certificates away for free um, joining the gym to two of his customers. And I get the best customers because they want to take care of their skin. They're interested in taking care of their bodies in general. And they're like-minded in individuals. And you guys, I have booked so many parties off of that because those women want to have fun. Not only that, I have recruited a lot from gyms. So get out there, go to 24 hour fitness, whoever, and they might look at you cross-eyed and it may take a couple times, but just do it. It's fun and be obnoxious. You're going to be like, Oh my God. Okay. I'm so out of my comfort zone right now. But the more you get out of your comfort zone and the crazier you get, the more fun you're going to have. So. Okay. So share with us a little bit. You mentioned to me earlier that when you go into a restaurant or a coffee shop, you have a box with you, but you don't necessarily, you order a coffee, you sit down, you kind of hang out for a few minutes, talk to the staff. So can you tell us like, what, what have you found that really works for you? So I literally, you know, if I'm going out to do leads in any way, shape or form, I've got obviously all of my stuff, you know, ready to go with me. Um, and I try to not look like the bag and box lady. So I'll use like my really cute, big Mary Kay purse and have stuff in there and have it like on my arm or whatever, you know, so I'm looking cute with my coffee, but I'll go in, order a coffee, say it's a coffee shop. Okay. And then I'll sit and I'll play on my phone for a few minutes and just kind of scope out what I'm feeling, okay, or what the building feels like. Because if it's crazy busy, you're not going to get anybody's attention and they're going to blow you off, okay? I'm just going to tell you right now. That's a, like a no bueno, okay? Um, 
But if it's where traffic and customer traffic is like, okay, a little bit here, a little bit there, you know, whatever. Um, it's not a rush hour time. Please note your restaurant rush hour times. If you don't know what those are, talk to your director because she knows. All right. Um, you'll just kind of scope it out, feel it out. And then you go back up there and you go, Hey, Melissa, whoever, you know, whoever served you, who do I got to talk to about doing a customer appreciation time in your store? And she may or may not look at you cross-eyed like, I have no idea what you're talking about and I don't know what you want, but you're like in my way. And I'll be like, okay, so are you a manager or an assistant manager or a general manager? And she'll be like, oh no, that's um so-and-so. Um, I'll be like, can you go get that so-and-so? That would be great. And then, you know, if I get the opportunity to talk to the so-and-so, then we scoot to the end of the counter where nobody's paying attention and I can grasp that person's attention and ask about customer appreciation. Make different points like, have you been really busy lately? You know, do you need help maybe grasping the public's eye? You know, all those different things because they're private and they're local, okay? They're a local business that always needs to be promoted. We need to be promoted. They need to be promoted. It does not matter that they have brick and mortar and we do not, all right? <clears throat> and 90% of the time they were like, why didn't I think of that? You know, they have to pay hundreds to thousands of dollars for advertising they would rather have something for free once in a while because i can tell you right now with the overhead that they carry they get nothing for free so you just tell them i'm gonna pamper you because you're awesome and you're a store owner and in return i just want to do this appreciation day i love your coffee I think every one of your customers loves your co coffee and your atmosphere and you just kiss you just brown nose. You guys, you know what that is. You've got this, all right? And tell them what they want to hear and love on their customers. Mm -hmm. Obviously, our heart is always in the right place anyway. So you just make a way, find a way, right? Absolutely. 90% of the time, they say yes. If you have somebody that says no, you want to know it? Let it go. Say, you want to no problem. Can I give you a little gift anyway? They're not going to say no to that, okay? And you walk away, you know who they are, you know who their name is, and you can come back and get your coffee, and there's no bad blood, right? So what I love about what so many things that Belinda talked about is it's different ways to do this. So one of the things I mentioned to Belinda when we talked today was that I have had better luck, higher success rate asking my customers if I could put it where they work. So if you've got a customer that's a that's a realtor, say, oh my gosh, could I put this in your real estate office? Oh, I have another customer who's a waitress. Can I put this in your in the counter at the at the restaurant? Another customer is a massage therapist. Oh my gosh, can I put this in the lobby where you work? So what I we what Belinda and I want to do is ask you all to get a piece of paper and we're going to each come up with eight places. And Belinda, I think you already have a list, but eight places you could put a facial box out. And here's the rule that Mary Kay used to tell us. Mary Kay herself said this. If you put out one box, you might as well forget it because mm -hmm. you can't put out one or two boxes and pray it doesn't work. Mary Kay used nope. to tell us, if you don't have a minimum of four boxes out, don't bother. So what we want to do is we want to think about where they might go that would be effective. So everybody grab a piece of paper. Um, one of the two ideas I'm going to give you is a tanning salon and an independent coffee house because... Um, but think about where your customers work. I also have a lot of teachers that are my customers and it works great in the teacher's lounge, like in the teacher's lounge area. So Belinda, well, what other ideas do you have? And on elaboration to that, to the teacher's lounge, what I do is take one of those plastic things that you can put papers and pictures and stuff in. And I put a box, like an old tissue box, and I decorate it on the back here. And then I have those uh, satin hands, lotion samples sticking out of the the box and it says try me so they literally get to enter a drawing and have a sample right then and there and then in three or four days I come back and I pick up that box and I'm usually hearing from the secretary or the vice pr pr uh, principal and they're like do you have a catalog that lotion was awesome you know 
all those different prompters um, that get you excited about having a brand new customer. I would okay. suggest if you're going so, to do teacher's lounge that you do it ASAP. Oh, yes. Because oh, yeah. here it is June. Yes. And in fact, you know, you can do businesses that way, you guys. So like um, if you know somebody who works at Walmart or at some of the bigger chains and they have access to the break room and they know it's not going to be a big deal. They can kind of keep an eye on it and tell all the employees and then all the employees can join and, and put their whatever in the hopper and then you can shove it. They can shove it in their locker. I just had one of my girls who uh, worked for Amazon do that. And she literally got 75 leads by the end of the night. It was pretty awesome sauce. So we but, have to be kind of thinking outside the box. So you guys start thinking just off the top of your head, like, like for Carrie McCurdy, does Kelly Bessemer work? Where does she work? And let's say she's a receptionist at a, at, or she's a bookkeeper at a CPA firm. Well, they must have a waiting room. Could you put one there? But here's what's interesting. When I have said to my customers, like if Belinda was my client, say, Belinda, I'd love for you to take this to the gym where you work. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you $5. Now I'm pretty generous, but if you're generous, it'll work. And I say, Blend, I'll give you $5 of free Mary Kay for every slip that you get filled out that either books a pampering session or purchases anything, if they purchase anything. So if you bring me 10, I would give a big number. If you give me 10, you potentially would get $50 of free product. Now all of a sudden, Blend is like, give me that box. Because she's thinking, I want to get all those lip things and I don't want to pay for them. And she wants three lip colors for $60. Mm -hmm. Say, oh, Belinda, you can totally do that. All you've got to do is get me like, you know, 13, 13 slips of paper filled out. And she's like, I can do that. So be thinking of who you know that's a customer and where do they work? Do they work in an insurance company? Do they work in a real estate office? Do they work in a dental office? The waiting room at a dental office is sweet. Like, cause the moms are sitting there while the pediatric dentist is working on the kids. Um, a gym in the women's locker room, um, maternity shops, dress shops. What's fun too is some chains will work with us like Chico's, Dress Barn, um, some of those places actually like having Mary Kay in there. Lane Bryant is another one. Um, and when we did Lane Bryant in Sun Valley Mall, they let us actually set up a table with color cards and we'd give every woman a color card based on the color of their eyes and the outfit they were purchasing that day. We got a lot of leads. Um, Belinda, can you think of other, oh, weight loss places are great. And then the speaker who spoke last night at the Red Jacket event, she was approached because for Mother's Day, at the daycare center where she went, they were handing out roses and chocolate and a oh. goodie bag. So the moms all walked in during this one and a half hour window. They gave them a rose, a piece of chocolate, and a little goodie bag and asked them to register for a complimentary skincare and charcoal mask facial. The lady had said, whether I was interested in Mary Kay or not, I had a really long week. And so I just signed up. I just gave her my name and number. And now she's a brand new Mary Kay sales director. But it was at a daycare center. So that might be another great place for you to put them. Does anybody else have ideas of where else you could put a facial box? Yes. Yeah, so David's bridal right now, you guys, all the dress shops are getting ready to jump full bore into wedding season. Okay. So you go in there, you have a facial, you know, your facial box, fish bowl, whatever. And you let the gal know who is the dressmaker or whomever, like with David's bridal, they have little packets made up for the brides already. And you can either slip a business card in or a flyer or um, ask them to enter in all their brides that they come in, in contact with, with, um, you know, leave one of these little pads with them and be like, look, you know, if you like mascara or you like skincare, whatever it is that you like, I'm going to give you, you know, $10 for each customer or whatever. Um, and granted, it's $10 retail. So it's less that you have to pay and they feel like they got a ginormous gift. Okay. So gyms, but yoga there studios, is weight centers. I'm sorry, go ahead. Dress um, places. There's um, go to men's warehouse, go to um, coffee shops, go to tanning places because tanning places, women are in and out. They check in. It's like the, the fitness shop. center. You know what I mean? They get in, they do their, their thing. So if your gal mm -hmm. will enter their name in there, hello, you see what I'm saying? Um, let's see. I have had more success with insurance and real estate by doing home baskets 
And every time they have an open house, have a drawing or whatever, um, for a pampering basket, when they bought their brand new home, um, then a fishbowl or a drawing box. Same with insurance offices. Um, now, daycare facilities is amazing because those moms are standing there. They have nothing to do. They're waiting for their kid, you know, whatever. Um, they're killing time and they always put their name into everything. I don't know if any of you have been a single mom, but we want something to do, right? <laughs> What's interesting, Belinda, is um, when you brought up the daycare things, because we just need to wrap things up really quick, is I went to one a year ago when I moved to Benicia, and there's you know, several of them in town, but one's smaller, more independent. And I said, could I do a mom um, or a parent appreciation in case it was a dad? And she said, absolutely. I said, well, when are most of the kids picked up? She said, most of the kids are picked up between 4.15 and 6. I said, okay, is it okay if I come 4 to 6? And she said, sure. So I stood there and sometimes there was nobody, but I talked to the staff and I ended up, I think I ended up uh, booking all but one person from the entire staff. But when people came in, I said, oh my gosh, I have a goodie bag. I said, Mary Kay is partnering up with uh, Benicia Preschool. And I said, um, we have a special goodie bag for you. Compliments of them and Mary Kay. Would you put like charcoal mask in it? Do you want blah, blah, blah? And there was candy in it, like chocolate in it. And um, I just had them register for a drawing and a giveaway and gave them some free samples. But I got to p talk to every parent for a couple of minutes. And that made such a difference. So yes, you can leave the boxes there and just leave an employee in charge. But it's really neat if they'll let you come for a, an appreciation. I do the same thing at a gym. I have really good luck just going to the gym and talking to people. Would you agree with that, Mel yeah. Melinda? Yeah. And the other thing that I've had really good luck with is giving out flowers. Like I told you earlier, um, at restaurants coming their busiest, you know, one hour or two hour and handing out little raffle tickets that are attached to a flower with my business card and a sample. And they've got a cute little bow all done up and just handing them out and letting them know that when they fill out that little ticket, they, you're going to actually give a customer appreciation gift away. Um, and then you contact them and say, thank you so very much for entering that drawing. And, you know, Gino's restaurant and I really appreciate you being a customer and I hope you had an amazing meal. And by the way, you have also entered in for a free facial. When can I book that with you? Nice. Belinda and I also talked earlier today about like coffee houses. So one of the things that I got some of these ideas from Kimberly Victor is we would go into, let's say an independent coffee house, like States coffee here in Benicia. And I asked the States coffee, how much is a pound of coffee? And they say $15. And I said, great. If I buy a pound, would you donate a pound? And they almost 90, 90% of the time will say yes. So I get a gift card for a pound and then I buy a pound. So I take like a mug or whatever. And I put the pound of coffee that I bought there, then I tie a gift certificate to it with some Mary Kay samples. And when people come in, I ask them if they'd like to enter the drawing. I said, well, you're going to get um, one pound of coffee to take home, another certificate for a pound of coffee, some Mary Kay samples. Now on the table, we will put eyeshadows named after food. So we have out on the table, um, hazelnut, biscotti. We have all these names. You don't realize cinnabar. We have all these things that are Espresso. like named after food. You could even do espresso. You could even do just chalk. You could do coffee colored. They don't, I mean, it could be like rustic, but it's coffee colored shadows and say, well, oh my gosh, we'll pick any three samples you want. And so they kind of get all excited. It gives you a chance to talk to them more. They would pick three samples and then you would just put it in a little cello bag that has your business card, let's say charcoal mask sample, and they would put in their shadows and then you ask them to fill out an entry form. But I think the the day that we did that, I think we got like, Oh my, it was busy. It was on a Saturday. I think we got like 22 leads in an hour and a half. And so it was really, really good. And the, the store loved it because when the line was long and people get a little agitated that they have five people in front of them for coffee, we're going, oh my gosh, here's some free samples. Do you want to fill this out? And nobody got agitated that they were having to wait because they had something fun to do. And they were excited to win a one pound coffee to take home as well as a pound to get later. And so it was a total win-win for the coffee place. And so, and I tell them, I said, I don't want to work with Starbucks and Pete's. I don't, I'm all about promoting the independent coffee company. So you guys look at what's out there. It could also be an independent brewery you could work with. There could be an independent wine cellar. There are so many places, independent dress shops. Sometimes mm -hmm. the big chains are not the word, way to go. So Belinda, any last quick minute in closing, any fast, anything? Yes. So you guys, when you do this, just remember that if it's fun and exciting for you, the business owners see that it's fun and exciting and they'll ask you to come back. And that is the big deal. Mm -hmm.
Yep. Oh, quinceañera stores are another really good one. I have one locally that sells that's mainly prom dresses and quinceanera dresses and they're and they have tiaras and like their stuff is super expensive but they love they said well you're not handing out chocolate because we don't want any candy on the dresses i said no 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 chocolate it's just uh samples and so the lady was thrilled to have me come so just keep in mind I, so our challenge belinda and i our challenge is tonight to come up with at least seven names of places that you could put and you could literally think about where your customers work all seven could be places where you already have a connection if your husband is an accountant or your husband installs windows or whatever, you might think of businesses that you've dealt with before that you could put a box there. And then maybe where your customers work or a place that you frequent, like the gym you go to or the or the, the spray tan place you go to or the whatever, the Weight Watchers place that you go to. Weight Watchers, by the way, Weight Watchers, um, Jenny Craig, all of those are great for that. Um so we want you to come up with a list of seven. And then your goal is by Saturday to have four boxes out. And I have a special prize for everybody who does this. Four boxes. Now here's the deal, you guys. Remember our saying, imperfect action is better than perfect procrastination. I don't want you to wait until your boxes look like they could win an award. Gang, it doesn't matter. I do have cardboard boxes though that are pink and black and they were like a tent. So if you're local to me and you want some of those, please let me know. I'm happy to get them. You can also go to the Dollar Tree and get boxes like what, what Belinda's got right there. You could do bags, just put something out. And all the things that Belinda sent me, I will, they're all JPEG. So I will do my best to load those all on our unit Facebook page tonight if you want to print any of them out. Okay, Belinda, thank you so much for your brilliance. And you guys, this is one way, just like last week was warm chatter. Next week, we'll be talking about how to ask for referrals. But Mary Key used to always tell us, you never want all your leads coming from one source. So if you have out four facial boxes, in fact, I just met a director at leadership conference. It just dawned on me. And I asked her, how did you get into Mary Kay? And she said, you won't believe this, but she goes, I put my name into a bowl at a restaurant. And she said, I want a facial. And then from there, I said, are you kidding me? You're a fishbowl lead. And she goes, I was. <laughs> so you know what? It's about getting exposure. But remember, that's also getting you leads while you're doing something else. Belinda, did you have something else you wanted to say? You look like you were going to say something. Um, I was just, I put it in the chat section. Do you want me to make those into PDFs so that they can print them? Is that easier you for could, you guys? That, if you could, that would be ideal. But if not, I'll just put them up as JPEGs. I mean, but if you can, that'd be awesome. Well, you guys, I want to just tell you guys, yeah. congratulations. Love Thank you so much, Belinda, for being on tonight. And Dynamite Unit, I know we are all working on June goals. And just know that every customer you call, every skincare set that you can sell, every skincare set that you order is going to help you build your business stronger. I would love, and in fact, I took my PCP list. This is a little embarrassing, but I took my PCP list and I put a little blue X next to all the ones that I know for a fact are not currently on skincare because they haven't ordered it in at least six months. It might be in their bathroom or maybe they never bought it. And so my mission is, I'm just going to start calling them tomorrow and say, what would it take to get you on skincare? We have a skincare promotion. You get a supplement for half off or 75% off if you get on skincare. What would it take to have you get on skincare? Because I really want you taking care of your skin. I want you to wake up in the morning and go, oh my God, I love my skin. So what would that look like? And for their teenagers too, or their husband, you know, the men's line is 60% off for Father's Day. So um, it's going to be really, really exciting to do, you know, to reach out to your customers and to take really good care of them. So I want to thank all of you guys for being on tonight. Thank you, Belinda, for sharing. I'm so glad Tammy Mann shared about her customer service. And I know you guys, this is going to be a record-breaking month. Now, if you are a local star consultant, I am going to be doing a star, um, like a champagne brunch at my, at my new townhouse. I'm going to be cooking. So if you're a star consultant, please let me know. If you're not a star, go make it happen. You absolutely could be a star consultant this quarter. Um, it's going to be super fun. If you don't know how to do it, you've got the dream, but not the strategy. That's where your director comes in because the directors are queens of strategy. All right. So again, you guys, I'll see you tomorrow night on Janice's event. And then of course, Thursday night, we have the sharing event and I can't congratulations, Carrie and Brenda for earning your diamond rings. And I can't wait to see all of you guys crossing the finish line for star consultant. So thanks for being on tonight. You guys have a great evening. Bye everybody.